Well, it's been a beautiful day here in Glasgow as we welcome the start of British summertime tomorrow. And while we're all looking forward to a little bit of milder weather, it does sadly mean that hockey season is drawing to a close. The clan face the Edinburgh Capitals tonight in their last regular home game of the season. And with clan's playoff spot already secured and the Edinburgh Capitals well out of the running, truth be told, there's not really that much to play for. However, it does give head coach Ryan Finnerty an opportunity to try and solve his Mike Hammond injury problem. Mike Hammond's been a revelation since joining after missing the first couple of months of the season, scoring 49 points in 48 games he will be sorely missed in the playoff quarter final will we see Alex Levitt stepping onto that line with league top scorers Beckett and Pitt will Clan see out the season with a victory let's join the action Wharton Dougal Patos hard in there Clan bring it forward now it's Craig Peacock Peacock has to move to the outside Jaroslav Hertel tracking him all the way Plays it behind for Levitt. Peacock again. Pass, however, was intercepted. And that's allowed Edinburgh to go on a quick break. Johnson played in front of Zajkowski. And Hertel has it. Blocked off by Cowick. Cowick does well. Great pass, now it's Levitt. Wonderful finish from Alex Levitt. Great work from Corey Cowick. Followed it on to Alex Levitt. Levitt through on Mark. And his shot finds the net. Clan on 1 0 up. Clan goals are sponsored by Greyhead Radio Car. Opening goal for the Greyhead. Opportunity for the Clan. Scored by the expand sponsor, number 12, Alex Levitt. Start from the home team. Clan goes for number 12, Alex. And the Caps look to hit bank straight away. It's Vorobiev. Vorobiev has been such a good player for the Caps this season. Now it's the chance. The Caps have one back. It's Sean Beattie with the finish. Great work from Pavel Vorobiev. Managing to find his teammate Sean Beattie in the middle. And Beattie dispatches it past Zajkowski. The Caps have levelled already. Peacock. Levitt back to Peacock. As Cowie can support. Just escapes from him. And Michael Dobrin sweeps up at the back for the caps. Cowick. No doubt of it, but Wharton does very well retrieving it. Now it's Cowick. And this inside left! Mar beaten again at his near post! The clan go 2 1 ahead. Wonderful shot from Corey Cowick. Great recovery work from Kyle Wharton. Cowick on the inside left, looked up, saw where he wanted to put it, blasted it. Pass Mar, it's 2 1. Peacock tussling with Taylor McDougall. 30 seconds left of the first period. Levitt. Good shot from Cowick. Rings the bell of the near post. Try and move forward again. Can they nick one before the end of the first period? Cowick's look good tonight. Levitt! He's managed to squeeze it in at the near post. Levitt with the finish. Six seconds to go of the first period. Clan will go in with a three. Around the Caps goal, it came to Levitt on the near side at the acute angle, and he managed to flick it into the net. Mar beaten a third time, plan three, Caps one. Wharton. So again, Clan stopped in their track. Sullivan has to track it back, plays along the board looking for a purple jersey in the form of Alex Levitt. Plays it into Kyle Wharton. Walked by Hertel. Inside Romas. Gets the tip on it. Zajkowski beaten. Good surging forward play from the Capitals. Came to Romas on the inside left. Got the one timer on it. Enough to take it beyond Zajkowski. The Capitals pull one back. It's three goals to two. Second goal for the Edinburgh Capitals. 
Step off brings it away. Assisted by number 11, Ian Schultz. And by number 19, Mason Wilgosh. Time of the goal, 28 minutes and 4 seconds. Second goal for the Capitals. Capitals looking to bring a level up. Oh, they've got it! Michael Dobrin, great work from him going around the net. He found Matt Tipoff right in front of the crease. And suddenly the Capitals from 3-1 down, it's 3-3. You can see Dobrin going round the net there. Good work from the Caps player coach. Matt Tipoff stood just outside the crease, waited for it, and applied the execution. It's 3 3. Now the Capitals, can they find an opportunity here? The momentum is up. They've got another one on the break. Clan on the turnover. Schultz. Playing in Carol Romas, his second of the night. He taps it past Zajkowski. A 3-1 deficit has turned into a 4-3 lead for the Capitals. Up on the turn, Capitals again. Looking dangerous. That's an opportunity, that's a wonderful save from Zajkowski. Sean Beatty looking for his second of the game there. Thought he had Zajkowski beaten. What a save from the clan goalie. Levitt. Levitt on a hat-trick, of course. As is Carol Thromas of Edinburgh. Asberg has to contend with Michael Dobrin. Back to Arson, quickly fade out to Della Robert. He's put it into the top corner. Mar is beaten. And one minute, eight seconds into this third period, the clan are level. Good work from the clan there. Daniel Asberg setting things going in motion. Della Robert was the man that picked it up, sent it into the top corner. Mar beaten for a fourth time, the clan are back on level terms. Arson, time of the goal, 41 minutes and eight seconds. Fourth goal for the clan. That's just what Scored clan needed in the early stages of this third period. Six. Time of the goal, 41. He's making four apiece as Asper, very much on his own. He's got two or three defensemen around him. He's still got the puck. And Hayward, what a finish! Great credit to Daniel Asper, holding it up. Wonderful finish from Hayward, but a lot of credit for Daniel Asper for that fantastic assist. And the clan, but they're ahead again, it's 5 4. Clan goals are sponsored by Brayhead Radio. Well, that's a fifth one for the clan now. Number five for the Brayhead clan. Score for the again, it's another one from Hayward, manages to get it in past Marr, three goals, in the space of a couple of minutes, the clan goes 6-4 ahead, Matt Hayward it looks like with the finish on that one, Marr beaten once again, just as clan's game has turned around with three quick goals in the second period by the Caps, they themselves, Get three quick ones, and it's turned again, 6-4. The puck comes all the way back into the clan end, Sullivan feeds it forward. It's along those backboards there, Hertel picks it up loose inside to McDougall. Now it's Milan on the far side. What a speed he's got, inside to Stahl. Stahl blocked off, now clan. Trying to turn it into something down the other end, it's Asper, comes off. The opposite number 22, Dela McDougall, it's bouncing around there. Dela Rovert trying to create something, didn't quite work out for him. Hertel, back to Wharton. Wharton, Asberg. Asberg has it, turns, looks up. And there it is, that's another finish. 
Haywood, Haywood, Hatrick. I Ward Haywood gets his third on the night, 7-4 for the Brayhead clan. The tap in makes it look easy. Wonderful work from the clan. Haywood there at the back post. Just tapping it into the net, 7-4. Surely not, Clan can lose this one. Kelwick. Kelwick inside, looking for Peacock, but Peacock's otherwise engaged with Richard Griggers. Eight and a half to go. <laughs> Wonderful goal, Alex Levitt coming in from the outside, looking up. Shot somehow leaves Marr beaten. It's a hat trick goal for Alex Levin. Eight goals to four. Wonderful finish from the clan number 12. Levin bringing it in from this near side. Has a quick look up, Marr. A little bit unsighted, perhaps. Levin's shot ends up in the back of the net. 8.25 to go, 8 4. Dobrin. Looking to do something with this, the Caps. Something to spark them back into life. They have been known to indulge in a bit of a comeback or two in games this season, especially against Fife, they've done it on three occasions, coming from behind, beating the Flyers. Other teams have fell foul of it as well, including the clan. Number four, two minutes for hooking. One of you. Councils look up. And it's flicked into the net. Some space on the far side there. Looked like Garrett Milan with the finish. 8 5. Well, two seconds left of that first power play, the 5 on 3. Caps get one back. Well, Ryan, we've not had score lines like that here for quite a while since last season. You had an opportunity to experiment a little tonight, and do you feel like you managed to achieve that? <laughs> Yeah, I think um, you know the first period was 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 a bit back and forth, and then the the second we started off really well. You know, I thought we had a lot of offensive zone puck possession, and I think we got maybe a bit too comfortable playing in in the O zone and and um, <clears throat> started doing things we don't normally do. I thought we overpassed it a lot, and and Edinburgh came back and scored three. You know, and, and all three they created from from um, D zone. You know, from their defensive zone and off of our offensive zone turnovers and. We just kind of got out of sync there, and, and I got to give them a lot of credit. They, um, just saying to Craig, they, they made some great plays. You know, they executed some some odd man rushes, and we put it on a platter and left us a yelp to dry. But, you know, we, uh, you know, we came back strong after that. We got out of the period. Z, Z kept us in it there. He made some big. It could have been easily five three, but I thought we had a pretty good talk and a pretty good group and uh, regroup uh, between the second and third, and we were able to come out and crack some things. And you know, we we've, we're always confident in this team that can score. You know, and tonight we got it from a, a lot of different sources, which is even better. And with that in mind, uh, the clan announcer obviously said we've never given the man of the match to two players before. We had two men tonight, both getting hat tricks tonight. A great performance from Matt Haywood stepping into that void that was left by Hammond. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, that's that's kind of where Rosie's been playing. Haywood's so uh, key uh, for us in that fourth line as he centers that fourth line. Um, but, you know, maddie has been able to jump up in any position at any time we call for him, whether it's at center, left, right, you know, and y you know what you're going to expect from Maddie. It's very rare that he has a, a bad game. and. He's, uh, he's, he doesn't get enough recognition because I don't think he does a lot. A lot of people don't see what he does out there. They don't notice how good he is on face-offs and, and how strong he is on the penalty kill and how good he is in our defensive zone. You know, and, and a lot of times those go unnoticed. Um, you know, so for him to get up and, and, and get up and play with Pitter and Bex and score three big goals is, you know, I think the whole, the whole team buzzes from that. And, of course, Levy here is trying to go out in style. So it, it's, it's always good. You know, it's always good to see, you know, two guys like that for different reasons scoring goals. Yeah, and obviously a big night, as you say there, for Alex Levitt, last professional game in the in the league proper. He's uh, he's another player that people maybe don't understand a lot of the work he does, the link-up play as well, isn't he? He's been a, a great servant for the club. Yeah, I think maybe going back last year, I think he came under a, a, a lot of criticism for, for the way he plays. He, he, is a, he is a player you love to hate, especially when you coach, but I think once you, once you get a good understanding um, for the player, you, you, you can use him in better situations and, and you get to see when he's on the puck he makes smart plays he's he um he holds it so much and he he he, he takes it into into you know 
into traffic a lot. He brings the puck into traffic a lot. He makes good plays for his wingers. I mean, he's he's smart. He's one of the smartest in the league when he when he has the puck with a little bit of time and the space he can create for his line mates is is, is something you really got to watch and, and appreciate. And I think this year, you know, I think he's just picked up from where he left off last year. And I, you know, when we brought him back, we we felt like we were bringing back a guy that could lead the league in scoring. And you know, he's going to be right up there at the end here. So he um, he's going to be a tough player to replace. There's no question. But you know, we're gonna we're gonna try to ride him here for the next you know hopefully five more games well him and Hayward added to a fantastic atmosphere tonight really good vibe you must be delighted with that moving forward to these all important quarterfinals yeah I mean collecting wins is keeps the confidence high it doesn't matter how you get them you know anytime you win you feel good and, and we want to keep that feel good factor going we want to we want to do it again tomorrow you know we just we, the the fear that I always have is if you you know, I told the guys before the game is mentally and physically. If you're not ready to go, is when when bad stuff happens. It's when injuries happens. It when it's when you you know you let you let negative play creep into the game, and and it, there there is just no positives from taking a night off. So I felt like today we we you know and tomorrow we need to we need to play at our at our top. We can't we can't play half ass. We have to play we have to play the way we play to be successful. And, you know, and, and ultimately we need to get wins. We want to keep wins. We want to go into into playoffs on a winning run, and we have an opportunity to do that tomorrow. Good luck with tomorrow. Thank you very much, Ryan. Cheers. So, guys, it's never happened before where they've given the man of the match to two people tonight. Fantastic. You both won man of the match. Two hat tricks, assists as well. Uh, did someone deserve it more than the other? Yeah, I think I clearly deserved it a yeah. little bit more. Uh, when it comes down to it, uh, most people just generally like me a little bit more than Woody. Woody's kind of a, a guy that people just kind of deal with. Yeah. You know, he's just a guy that, oh, you know, bad. he's just he's just around, but nobody really, really likes Woody. It's just, it just we just... old dog you have to care about, yeah. but you have to care about Yeah, it. it's just, he's all over the floor. You just try to be polite, but yeah. <laughs> no, but I mean, seriously, like, of course, uh, of course, you know, he deserves it more. He scored the three big goals in the third period. He gets the game-winning goal, and I'm really happy for him just because, uh, you know, he, he, he plays hard all the time. He, he chips in on that third and fourth line for us, and tonight he gets a chance to play on that top line and, and really takes advantage of it, so I'm, I'm really happy for Woody. Yeah, as I was saying there, get an opportunity to kind of fill in on that line. How did you enjoy it? Yeah, good. It's, it's nice to play with Pitty and Bex. They're quite laid-back guys, and it's... <laughs> When you make a mistake, they don't really care too much. Not like when you play with Levy, he sh <laughs> shouts at you all the time. But no, it's fun. It was fun. It was got a lot more uh, chances than I normally get. So yeah, it was fun. It is very fitting tonight as well. Obviously, uh, for, for you, Alex, it's time's kind of ticking away when it comes to these games. Now you're you're checking them off the list. One more away game, but then back here for the playoffs. Uh, uh, an emotional one tonight. Yeah, I mean, it's uh, it's I don't know if emotional quite yet. I think uh, I think. Once we get into playoffs and it, it starts to get real, that's when, that's when I'm probably going gonna to hit me. Tonight was just more, still it was fun, uh, get a couple goals, still, tr still enjoying it, but I still feel uh, you know, pretty good. I don't, I don't really feel like I'm, I'm too emotional yet. Right, well, we'll catch you maybe in another week's yeah. time. We'll see what happens. Guys, congratulations on the man of the match. <laughs> Thank you. Tears to come, tears to come.